Hello and welcome to today's Edinburgh Head Injury Information Day. We're delighted to welcome so many of you along today. But a wee change from the, the billing, um, you'll realise that I am not Chris Stewart. Um, I am Chris's partner in the serious injury team at Digby Brown. I'm afraid uh, Chris has been caught up with a, a legal meeting this morning, but he will be here later. So for anyone who hasn't been to the Head Injury Information Day before, you, you might be wondering, what, what's this all about? So these events are held annually um, to raise awareness of acquired brain injury and provide advice and information on the services available. This year we have a fantastic variety of exhibitors um, who will provide vital information and support. A thank you to all the exhibitors for coming along today. So please everyone take some time to go around the, the exhibitors um, find out about the services and the support that they offer and collect some goodies as well. So what does today have in store? In front of you, you there will be um, a folder containing various pieces of information, including a programme with the schedule for today. We're delighted to welcome a number of experts and individuals who will be presenting on a range of topics, including the anatomy of brain injury, Neuropsychology's impact from acute to community and unlocking the potential of technology to empower people with disabilities. We will also be hearing from the stories of, sorry, we will also be learning from the stories of brain injury in young adults and look into the future of headway in Scotland. More importantly, we will be hearing from two brain injury survivors and their experience of rebuilding their lives after brain injury. I'd like to extend a huge thank you to all our speakers for taking time away from their busy schedules and contributing to today's event. So after the success of the, the breakout spaces at, at previous events, we're delighted to have Edinburgh Headway's art therapist, Hannah, with us, and she will be leading an art workshop which is located to the right-hand side of the exhibition space. So please feel free to drop in and see Hannah. Let your creativity flow. Or take a wee break from all the activities that, that's going on today. And carrying on from the, the art theme, some of you will be aware that we have a, a calendar competition that we run annually, which encourages people sorry, which encourages brain injury groups from across Scotland to submit artwork to be considered for the, the desktop calendar. And last year, we celebrated 10 years of the competition. So we've brought along the winning artwork from the calendars for, from over the years, and they are displayed in the art workshop space. So again, try and have a wee wander around and take a look at these incredible pieces of art. You might have spotted that some of the tables in the room have lovely centrepieces and a huge thank you to Edinburgh Headway and uh, Headway East Lothian for sharing their talents with us and brightening up the room. You should have a flyer uh, with some information on the head, in head Injury Information Directory in your folder. For those of you who aren't aware, this is a website that was set up to provide information and services available locally and nationally for people with acquired brain injury. So www.hid.org.uk and it can be accessed by people affected by brain injury and also the professionals who support people with brain injury. So what's next for the Head Injury Information Days? The eagle-eyed amongst you might have noticed within the folder there's a flyer eh, which is teasing something very exciting. So without further ado, we're delighted to announce that next year we're planning to take the, <clears throat> the Head Injury Information Days to a national level by creating an event that will bring together individuals and professionals affected by brain injury from across the country and hopefully increase the awareness of acquired brain injury in Scotland. The event is in the very early stages of organisation, but if you would like to be kept updated, please scan the QR code 
or visit the website on the flyer to register your interest. So there's lots going on today. I'd personally like to thank you all for coming along and I hope you find it worthwhile and leave a little bit wiser about living with acquired brain injury and the services and support that are available. So without any more ado, um, I would like to introduce our first speaker of the day, who is Dr Alistair Fitzgerald. He is a consultant in neurorehabilitation at the Ashley Ainsley Hospital.